Now that you have your player going back to the starting block when it falls to the ground or the reset zone, it's time to start thinking about what happens when the player falls multiple times. In other words, how many lives does the player start with and how many lives get subtracted each time the player falls? Well, as we talked about in class, we think that the player should start with three lives and each time the player falls, they should subtract a life. So what we need to do is to make a variable and the variable is lives. So each time we're subtracting a life from the number of their lives. So the life changes, so that's why we would name that as a variable. So we need to go into the pink data block and we need to get a set variable block. So we're gonna drag this up. So what we're going to do is we're gonna call the variable lives and the number of lives is three. So what we do is we put the number three here. So right here, we're just saying the number of lives that the player starts with is three. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's move on. The next thing we need to do is we need to tell the program that every time the player falls, we want to subtract a life or we want to change a life. So if we go back down to the pink dot that says data, there's a block here that says change lives by one. So I'm going to drag that in. And do we want to add a life or subtract a life? What should we put right here? Should it be minus one or plus one? Well, it's probably minus one because we're subtracting the life. As you're playing the game, do you like to know how many lives you have left? Most people do. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back into our work area. We're going to go to the library and we're gonna grab the text. We're gonna take the text and we're gonna put that in front of the camera. And then to attach it, what you need to do is over here to the left side, this tab, there's three lines. Click on the three lines and then you click, hold and drag your text and drop it on top of the camera or in my case, my camera says player. So drop it there. And now those two should be attached. And now we're gonna go back into the code and now we need to tell the program how it says how many lives there are and how to subtract them using the text box. So set text and then it says no text items too. So you're going to take the set text and you're gonna put it underneath the change lives by minus one. So right now it says set the text to, so uh-oh, it says no text items. Well, let's go back and let's look at our text right now. We're gonna double click on it, click on code. Okay, I didn't enable it in code blocks, so you have to enable it in code blocks. Let's go back to the code. So set text here to, so we're just going to type in the word lives. So what we're doing here is we're setting the text to lives, which basically means that the player is going to see the word lives and then the number of lives that they have left. So let's take a look at what the player would see. When we hit play, we see that the player does see lives, but they don't see how many lives they have left. And also the word lives is kind of off to the side. So I don't know if you would like it that way or if you would go back in and try to move that in front of the camera. So now when we hit play, it says lives in the viewfinder. But we want it to say how many lives are left. So now what we need to do is we need to add some more to this line of code right here. So we need to go to this data button and we need to find where it says string. And a string is really just a word in coding. So it says create a string. So I'm going to grab the string and I'm going to put them inside where it says lives. Yep. And I'm going to get my variable. And I'm going to put my variable in the bottom one. So this is a variable lives and every time we fall, we lose a life. So the string or the word that we have in there is going to say how many lives we have left. So right now, let me write in lives. So in the text box, the string will say lives and then it will tell me how many lives I have left. Let's take a look to see if that actually works. So I have two lives left and now I have one. 
Um, the only thing I notice is that I don't have a space in between here. It says lives here. And then after the word lives, I'm going to put a space. So let's see if that works. All right, so now it says lives and it tells me how many lives I have left. So that's the assignment for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I can't wait to see your projects. Have a great day.